Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video and we are a couple days removed from the launch of WizBang's workshop and I feel pretty comfortable. I've gone through a lot of data, a lot of different sites on giving you guys the best decks to climb with, whether it be standard or wild, whether you're trying to get to silver, gold, platinum, diamond, or legend for the very first time. And as always, it is still a warning here. It's still pretty early. Craft at your own risk. We're gonna have a crafting guide later this weekend on what like key legendaries and epics you're probably gonna wanna look for. But again, it's still a little bit early, so be a little bit wary of that. And if you enjoy the content on the channel, if you like I've earned your subscription, please hit that sub button down below. Give the video a like, it helps us out a lot. And if you look at HS Replay front page, you will note um, I'm not gonna be recommending uh, Rogue, even though Sony has broken that interaction. No Rogue deck, at least that I could find, even the Miracle Pirate are really popping off. Uh, Druid is struggling pretty heavily right now. Mage is pretty rough, like it just dies to all the aggro. It's very aggressive meta and priest even with a zaribi and raza i have not found any list that i'm comfortable recommending so there's quite a few classes i will be omitting feel free to share you know down in the comments below what's working for you but yeah i'm not going to be including those classes at least in this video we'll have deck recommendations probably like a week or so as things update but yeah starting off the big winners so far um are the aggressive deck starting with aggro hunter this deck is just doing incredibly well mainly because of yeah like all the new additions particular rc rampage getting like the four six hounds or better right like they could be five two twos or four three threes really good and saddle up is becoming meta because you can so reliably go wide at hunter you can get a really sticky board jungle gym does some real work at pushing extra damage you've got patchwork pals for your call the wild in one little package there that you can get your huffer your misha out really cheap and yeah this deck is doing some serious work mantle shapers you're able to cheat out pretty early with all these new spells including the old stuff like bananas and tremors and you got leroy in there to spork it up your titan and zilliax which has this ability of pylon module which gives your other minions plus one plus one and this costs one less for each media play so you can cheat this out buff your board push damage it'd be really hard to kill this is one of the best performing decks really early and uh yeah it's pretty darn decent so look out it's very aggressive out there and speaking of that we're also going to suggest aggro paladin with the new hand buff weapon painter's virtue this weapon is just insane you get plus three plus three in your hand you get six damage plus life steal you can also double dip on your buffs with a card like outfit tailor and then yeah throw it on to your south sea deckhand which is down in the core set a charger or leroy and give it wind fury and murder your opponent you've got zilliax again very similar idea here ticking module costs one less for each minion to play but you could get a summon, uh, summon a copy of it just for really early big board presence. If you've gone wide, you got your auras, you got your weapons, your hand buffs, and uh, yeah, Tigress plushie, one of the best cards of the expansion. Just getting the hand buff value on that could be insane. Uh, healing damage, and uh, yeah, this deck is doing incredibly well, and even has the new core set legendary, the Warcraft Rumble card, Nomelia, which can cleave and also do death rattle damage and also get life steal it's just this deck basically does it all it is i think paladin is the king of this expansion so far but um we'll have to wait and see it's pretty early on uh, death knight's been pretty popular rainbow hand buff it's already fallen off people are just played hunter played paladin instead but this deck has shown promise with the lesser spellstone that buffs your undead. So you kind of want to buff up and make big Nerubian swarm guards. You want to make big quillbores that can go face or clear the board. You could give it poisonous and have like a nice board clear on top of like the crop rotation. Even shambling zombie tech has made the cut. Like it's a lot of stats. It's a corpse spender for your climatic necrotic explosion. Most people don't run the Atlas Horseman in this deck, but I don't care. I put the Endless Horseman in here. Uh, the card that I subbed out that people have been running is Body Bagger. Why Body Bag when I can play Headless Horseman, all right? So you could throw that out there in there. And the Amateur Puppeteers is a great way of getting all those hand buffs going. 
big life sway life seal swings with uh, hollow hound it just feels like paladin does all this stuff but better it just that's the way it feels but yeah this deck doing pretty well you just can't hand buff the chargers right you can't do that or give the wind fury another popular uh death light deck of course plague dk really solid doesn't have too many new cards in here you'll note scarab keychain it's like in every list i looked at i guess a good chance to try and discover whether it's more plagues another excavate there's a lot of good two mana cost cards you can hit in particular in death knight but yeah shuffle those plagues in you got a bit more card draw now with plucky paint thin which can get you either chain guardian it can also i believe get you zilliax which has twin module and uh the basically the og zilliax to get a giant lifesteal minion out there but you get burrow buster and you know do the plagues put plagues in infinitely with hell yeah put more plagues in shut off Frito decks trigger me trigger me right so yeah plague dk sh numbers are really strong numbers are actually stronger than rainbow so far so yeah this might be the best death knight deck out there and yes this is not a meme this is not me joking around wheel of death is one of the best decks so far the numbers reflect it uh, we'll have a gameplay video later on today i went seven in one to legend with it no hands gamers top 10 legend with it wheel of death appears to be a meta player and yes built around the eight mana spell destroy your deck in five turns destroy the enemy hero you got the new table flip aoe aoe in there but yeah you get Phenotum out there copy with the location your reno's active you got zilliax which has the uh perfect module and recursive so you can avoid those fatigue situations and the new addition from the the mini set not the mini set the core set dark alley pack where you get a giant taunt again you could copy it you got the new gift in there to give you like another nether uh siphon soul removal in the in a pinch in fracking to just in your deck get to your combo and fell string harp to stop damage this deck seems really good it's gonna be further refined but it actually looks like wheel of death is a metal player and i asked yesterday's video why are warlocks numbers up there it can't possibly be wheel of death yeah it's wheel of death and one other older deck we'll talk about in a second reno warrior looks pretty good i'm focusing there's actually a tendril version that's showing some decent numbers sample size is small but Tendril Reno Warrior might be the way to go. Maybe we'll update it later. But this is more of just a value Reno Warrior. Again, Zilliax with your twin module, your perfect module. But this is not about Odin. Odin's not even in the deck. There's no Astalor, obviously, anymore. It's just a lot about value, whether it's Excavates, whether it's Nostalgic Clown pushing a ridiculous amount of damage, right? Each one of these can deal four. You can even Zola them up, so you can do that as like an OTK. But if you have all your Excavates, your ETC can, after Brand's been played, you get Boom Boss and Gaslight and delete your opponent's hand and deck effectively. And yeah, very similar to the prior uh, Odin Warrior, Arena Warrior. Warrior stuff is like mechs, and the mechs haven't really taken off yet. There's some decent stuff there, but nothing that I've seen that's really taken off. But yeah, Reno Warrior, the numbers are still really strong. Same with Reno Shaw. Reno Shaman got a bunch of tools, but like Hagatha, too slow, too clunky. But the new standard is absolutely Shutter Block getting triple battle cards. This is another deck. Uh, Tendril Shaman might be legitimate as well. We're waiting to see how that develops. There's a Reno Tendril Shaman. There's regular Tendril Shaman. They might be real because the 10 mana pool is like orb or sunset volley which is disgusting right if you can get there you're murdering your opponent but the numbers so far look a little more reliable on reno shaman with your zilliax again a perfect module twin module dr holiday giving you orange frogs is always really good but new tools in here like baking soda volcano is an incredible card um marut stonebinder is all of a sudden worth playing because if you triple his battle cry it's actually pretty good getting a lot of big elementals three of them and probably overflowing your hand but that's all right you got ignis of course as always the new location of fairy tale forest is really solid and just you know decent removal like your pop-up book find it to be a really fun deck and very effective this is uh, the win rate is really solid on Arena Shaman. Odin Warrior. We're going to go with like some of the older decks that have like almost no new cards. Of, like Cycle Odin Warrior might be the best deck in the game. Not many people are playing it because it's the same old thing, but it's really good. Like the win rates at like Legend are like 60 plus percent at what I'm looking at with decent sample sizes. Where yeah, you just rip through your deck, draw Odin, murder your opponent. Your Reno could be uh, 
active. We've got Fizzle in here apparently because we need more value. And the newest, the only new card I believe is Safety Goggles because it's more damage for our Odin. Other than that, like, you know, you could use it with a you sanitize and a pinch. But other than that, it, it's basically the same thing from before Garrosh Gift. It, it's nothing new, but it's good. Arguably the best deck in the format. Just not a lot of people are playing it. Sludge Warlock is still very good. Um, basically one new addition, I believe, from the latest, not even the latest expansions, from the from the core set, Doomguard, right? You play Doomguard, push more damage. You can discard whether it's your uh, furnace fuel or your barrels of sludge for four more damage. That's really good. You could copy its stats with Forge of Wills and maybe you don't discard Monster's Form and buff it up, but overall it, it's the same same thing. Same uh, discard or Sludge Warlock as before, just with like one different card really, but it's still really good. So I have to recommend it. And the last one I'm not sure on, um, HS Replay has more data on this than any of the other Demon Hunter decks. I looked at like Donkey Sight. There is some data for this deck that's somewhat positive, but I'm seeing like 55, 60% win rate for this tempo Demon Hunter. No idea if it's good. I haven't played it. I haven't seen anyone play it, but the numbers don't lie. There's like, I think the 2000 games and uh, it's based around the weapon, which is really good. Umpire's Grasp, where you draw a demon, reduce its cost by two. And when you get Window Shopper, you usually get really good options of course you have midnight wolf in here which is a bit of terror in arena could actually be pretty good on ladder and you could also tutor it with your uh, bartendo bot so you always get that midnight wolf in there and i, I don't know I, I have no idea if you want to try this deck you have the cards it doesn't look all that expensive like you got ball hog is one of the new cards in here too um nothing else too much crazy in here but the numbers are good. You're looking to play Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter, again, is not actually struggling that bad. There's some other lists I saw, just very low sample size. I didn't want to recommend, but if you want to give Demon Hunter a roll, this might be the deck to go for, because again, the numbers are pretty solid. And for Wild, has Wild changed a lot? No, not really. There's some stuff. Um, Again, I'm always going to recommend Even Shaman, even with the nerf to Even Shaman with Spell Damage Totem instead of Strength Totem. Still looking really good. Numbers are really good. Not going to do too much about it, but just play Carving Chisel, play Anchor to probably win some games. You know, bots play this, they get Legend, blah, blah, blah. It triggers me. Um, Mine Rogue, I, I don't know why this deck is allowed to exist. We need more people to play it, so maybe Blizzard will do something about it, because this is a turn five to six OTK machine, where, yeah, you just have your Decrium Blade, Snowfall Graveyard, you play Naval Mine, you play your Skulker, it dies, it breaks your weapon, it does a billion damage, they blow up. It's just ridiculous. And it got one new card, Dig for Treasure, to find some of these minions and then blow your opponent up. Really, really gross. And uh, I wish Blizzard would do something about it. And uh, we got Raza Raza. That's right. No more Raza Anduin. We got Raza Raza Priest. And uh, basically now we run Raza and Raza. And we can go infinite pew pew before we ever have to do Anduin. And you have Reno Lone Ranger in there to get, you know, the refresh hero power, the armor hero power value and all of that. Pretty solid. I played this today and I had uh, relatively some success with it. Does it feel like any one deck in wild is super dominant, but you can beat up aggro. You can uh, do a lot of damage to some of the slower decks. It certainly has some viability. Orb Quest Mage is the hottest now. Renathal Reno Quest Mage, where you have the Parrot now, which can recast Galactic Projection Orb. And if you've just played Potion of Illusion, you just go infinite. But of course, you could go infinite with Romath with your ETC and Potion of Illusion, of course. So yeah, look out for that. Um, Quest Mage is gross as well. I wish all these decks would be taken. Like, I would love to see all these decks change for the most part. And speaking of that, Shadow Priest. Go face, go face really hard because this card is absolutely ridiculous and boy touched the tenant. Why it still has three health today? I don't know, but you kill opponents by spamming one drops, cheating out thirsty drifters and trying to win really quick. If you don't move on to the next and try again. So there you go. Deck recommendations for standard and wild. Again, we'll probably have a deck update video next week as things further develop. It's really early on, but I found a lot of reliable numbers on quite a few decks. So hopefully you guys have some climbs and I'll try and find some priest and mage and druid and rogue stuff uh, in the future, but I just could not find anything that looked really promising even with like the sonia bug it's so crazy anyways if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe stay tuned later we'll have some really fun wheel of warlock games have a great day and stay salty my friends